Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to be demonstrating how to truncate a, a value of double using big decimal. So um, we've got the main method and we've imported the scanner class. So I'm just going to ask the user to enter a, a number. So first let's create a um, scanner object called input. And next, I'm going to send a message to the user to ask the user to enter a number. Just assuming that the value that we want the user to enter is to be a double value. So uh, maybe the water level. So that would be in mLs or something. And uh, next, I'm going to store. We're going to store the value entered by the user into a variable called water level of type double. Um, so usually, we get input from the scanner using the next next line. But entry is going to be a string, so that's going to contradict with our variable being a double. So we're going to convert that to a double using the double wrapper class and they pass double method okay we lost our reference scanner reference okay so right now um, the value um, is just basically a double value maybe we can print that out to the user if we liked but um, so um, So maybe we can say water level is, and then um, have that there. And let's just run the program and see what we get. And so we get a value like that. So uh, the question is, how do we truncate this value but not round it such that it will be 2.23, for example, two decimal places or three, uh, whatever the value is. We don't want this to be rounded to the um, to the next decimal place. So to do this, we would use something called the big decimal uh, class. And I'm going to declare the variable uh, with the same name, but uh, with a convention of the small letter. And um, we need to create an object of big decimal. So, uh, and we could pass a double value there, we could pass a string, but we do need to import the big decimal um, class using Java. Uh, it belongs to dot math and our big decimal. Okay, so now the program stopped complaining. So over here, when we are converting the double here to a big decimal, um, if, if you're working with numbers that requires accuracy, such as if you're working with like a physics um, equation that requires a value to be very accurate, then you need to convert that value to a string back again. So we could use double dot two string. Uh, this same goes if you're working with any um, currency values and you don't want the value to change or you want the exact value so you do need to convert this into a string to have a very accurate value if accuracy doesn't matter for you then you could just keep it as a double okay I'm just going to close the input um, the scanner just so that it stops complaining there or it stops giving me a warning so let's just see what we have uh, we'll print this out um, big decimal as a string is big decimal. So I'm just going to show you what we get there. And so we have our value over here. Now I'm just going to show you if we've actually passed in that as a double just to show you what I mean. So I'm going to, um, yeah, let's just do this again. And I'll do that as a double value. So big decimal 
two. And what we're going to do is just pass it as a double right away. As a double. Let's run the program and see what we get. So you'll notice that's what I mean. If, if, you, if, if, if accuracy is important for you, you do need to work with a string as you pass that to the big decimal um, object when you create it. So this probably won't matter if you're working with numbers that you don't care about the accuracy, especially that if you're truncating this value anyway, yeah, then it doesn't matter if you are going to have a double or a string if you're truncating. But I just wanted to bring it to your attention that um, it's usually um, converted back to a string when you are creating a big decimal if you want to keep your numbers very accurate. So let's keep it as string for now. And um, so what we want to do is um, to actually truncate that value to two decimal places, for example. So um, let's create another big decimal um, object called uh, truncated. Okay, and again, uh, so what we want to do is um, we want to call a method called set scale. And with this set, sorry, set scale. So with this method, we pass the value that we wanted to um, round to. And then we also need to set, uh, specify the rounding mode. And so if we use all capitalized floor, so what floor will do is it will round towards negative infinity. So it will, um, it will remove, I'll show you how it looks like. Um, just better to see this than explain it. Um, just be aware that we are working with the random mode. We need to actually import the library. It also belongs to map rounding mode. Okay, so um, now it's looking fine, but then again, that's rounding. Okay, now let's print out this value just to see what it looks like. Um, truncated using using floor. And I don't need this message anymore, so I'm just going to delete it. And let's have that value. And we have another one, another rounding mode, which is called ceiling. We could also use that. Let me just show you what we do. We could reuse the value truncated. Um, are we setting to ceiling? Did I first spell that right? No, I didn't. Missing I here. Yep. Okay. So that will help you see the difference between floor and um, and ceiling. So ceiling will round the value towards positive infinity, whereas the the floor would uh, round towards negative infinity. So with floor, um, it kind of rounded it down, whereas with ceiling, it rounded it up. Oh, sorry, um, I was sort of highlighting the wrong value, but I meant this one. Okay, so you can see it truncated that value, um, keeping three uh, or rounding it um, to the lower value. So floor, it kind of brought the number, if you think about it, to the floor, whereas the ceiling, um, it took the um, it took into consideration this value and um, included the higher rounding. So um, I hope this helps you understand how to use big decimal to truncate a decimal or a double value um, to two decimal places. And what rounding mood, mode you need to use is up to you whether you want to floor that or seal it. So I hope this was helpful and I'll see you in future.